Hi, need some good Halloween ideas and you're a 3D printer enthusiast? Well, join me today as we look at printing a Mickey Mouse tea light into a larger form and making a Mickey Mouse pumpkin. So join me inside as we print that model today. Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we are going to print a Mickey Mouse tea light model. So it's meant to only be like that, but we're going to make them pumpkin size today. So we're going to go over to the computer, we're going to get the model, and we're going to go into Cure and slice it real quick, and we'll get to that print. Now, I'm going to be straightforward on this. I had a lot of problems printing this one, but I also blew it up <laughs> like five times its normal. It's supposed to be just a little tea light cover. I blew it up to a pumpkin and I'll discuss some of the problems I had with that failure. So off to the computer. All right, so we've got our model. It's a Mickey Tea Light pumpkin is the model's name on Thingiverse. So this model was made by Nick Lopez, 1983. Good year, 1983. Um, so I've already downloaded this model and we're gonna make it fit what we want. So we're gonna get it launched here in Cura, which I've already un unpacked it and loaded it into the program for some time saving today. But you can see, this is on my CR10 build plate. He's kind of small, and we want to make him into pumpkins. So we're going to grab him, and we're going to go over here to sizing, and let's try 400%. Uh, no, 200. Let's try 300. We might be getting overzealous there, and we're going to go ahead and lift him up, back up on the build plate on the Z axis. Okay, he's looking, it's looking doable, but we're going to have to rotate him. So we'll rotate them that way. Oh, looky there, all of a sudden it works. Now, as I said, I had some problems with the model when I printed it. You may not have this problem. So right about here, about his nose, the model, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this. The model shifted on my printer. So it was probably actually a printer malfunction. But I came back into Cura and I moved this down below the Z axis and got it right about where it failed and printed the top. So mine is in two pieces, which you'll see in the photos here in a little bit, but it's kind of one of those things. This is a really cool model, especially in pumpkin size, put a flashlight or something, or a bunch of glow sticks in it, Halloween. This guy makes a really cool outside model. Let's take a look at the build preview now that we've sliced it. And it did take a long time to print. It takes about half a spool of PLA to do it. Um, and that's even with my settings. Um, I'm doing this with 2% infill. Um, so it's really just the model. Now some of this, of course, is support, um, which actually I don't look like I have. I don't have supports turned on, so it's actually going to be more and more time because you got to build some supports in for these ears. Um, they will not print right because you can see right there in the shadow. Oh, it didn't slice it, uh, or I didn't hit it. One of the two. Right here, there's a gap, so it's got to have a support to start building this to attach and come up on top. And you'll want some supports in here, like the mouth and the, the nose as it builds. You're going to want support in there, so we'll definitely want that. Those are just my usual support settings. Uh, overhang angle is a little high uh, compared to what I usually like, but I think I had to have it high on this one to get enough support out here. So we'll click over to preview, see how much it's going to use. As you can see, the PLA amount went way up uh, to almost three quarters of a spool. But you see it's added all this support that it needs to get that ear to print. So 65 was about right where I was. And let's cut them down and take a look at these layers a little bit. So the ears are pretty straightforward. Go in here and you can see it's building a core support as well. So when it gets up to the top, it can support itself pretty easily as well. Uh, we got some support in the nose right there. And then we got some support of the mouth, which is definitely needed. So do I have raft turn off? What am I? No, it's printing a raft. I don't know. Ever since I went to Cure 4.62, rafts have been a little weird. Uh, my raft margin's small. Um, I usually will do that at a minimum of five. Yes, I know there's no layers to show. Quit telling me that. Arr! I know, Kira, because I'm changing things. <laughs> Oh, gotta love Kira. But the bottom of this is open, which is really nice because you can put tea lights, glow sticks, or I wouldn't recommend putting a candle in here, but that's your call. 
if you want to do that. So it's kind of one of those things. It's kind of a neat thing. So didn't add too much to it. It's processing the layer. So we'll get that in here and we'll get a look at that raft. And as you can see, it added more to it did add more to the raft, more connections. Um, these rafts will be out on their own. That's usually fine. Um, it'll all match up. But one thing to definitely check is that your travel avoidance distance is set well. And I went ahead with the automatic, which means I gotta reslice again and all that. But this travel avoidance and avoid supports when traveling, uh, that way it'll help cut down your click, your clipping and stuff like that with your enable retraction, which you do want. And we want Z-Hop when retracted. So we want it to jump. We want it to hop when it's retracted. So. Let's get to the printer. I hope you guys enjoy the model. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like what you see and want to see more models of this type or different things for holidays or a specific model you want to learn about, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join us on the channel, become part of the crew, and also hit that bell so you get all the notifications. Off to the print. And that's the final product. The pumpkin came out really well, even glued together. Um, as you guys saw, I had a fail in the middle of it, but I made good of it and saved what I could. I thank you guys for watching today's video, and we will see you in the next one.